All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another vacuum review by Awesome Vacuums. And today we're gonna to be looking at this Dirt Devil Vision Wide Glide. Now, I got this machine um, a while ago, probably back in November of 2018. So I've had this machine for a very long time at this point. Um, I got it at Goodwill and I only paid five bucks for it. And it came with all of its attachments. So turbo brush, crevice tool extension wand, dusting brush, and I even uh, got the manual with it too, as you can see. I'll just um, bring that up to you. Make sure I'm in frame, which I am, okay. So yeah, you can see. Just show you that. General maintenance. Oh, and it even tells you how to change the belt and how to maintain it, which is not something you see in a lot of modern um, manuals. And it even gives you some problems too. And then this side here is just in different languages. That's why it's um, that's why it's so big. But there's only about it's only about five pages um, in English. So yeah, but. I thought that was pretty cool, so I got all that for five dollars plus the machine, so yeah, that's not so bad. Now, I've not really used it very much since I've had it, uh, it's just kind of been in storage for the most part. Um, it's spent most of my, or it's spent most of its life in the, um, the attic or in my collection. Uh, and the reason for that is because, as you'll see in the later in the video, um, it's extremely, extremely loud, and um, the filtration on this is horrible. But I'll show you that in the due course of this video. But despite that, um, it actually has a really aggressive brush roller, and it um, cleans very well. But the noise and the really bad cyclones, the reason I don't really like to use it. But anyway, I'll give you a guided tour of the machine and we'll do a little pickup test at the end. So let's get going. All right, so here is the Dirt Devil Vision Wide Glide. So starting at the bottom as I usually do. You can see it's in pretty good condition for its age. I mean, it's got the usual, try and get into the light a little better. There we go. You can see it's just got some marks and stuff like that from normal use, but that's to be expected. And right here's the carpet height adjustment. So you have bare floor low, medium, all the way up to high pile carpet. So yeah, that's pretty nice. At least this machine does have a height adjustment because a lot of cheap vacuums these days kind of lack this um, feature and it's definitely an important feature, especially if you have higher pile carpet. Uh, soft garden as you can see so that when you if you were to um vacuum like with the furniture and because a lot of people tend to um whack the machine into like furniture and stuff like that so with this it will um not like ruin or put marks into your furniture which is really nice uh 15 15 inch nozzle as you can see and it is actually a very wide um, so yeah, 12 amp with motor garb, 
Uh, moving further up here is the, you can see it's a headlight. So yeah, um, and again, a lot of machines these days don't really have headlights anymore, which is kind of unfortunate, but yeah. And moving on up here, as you can see, it says Dirt Devil Vision Wide Glide, which I really like how they use this uh, format. It looks really cool the way they um, did that. And right here on the on the bin, it has some different. Um, it tells you like the different features. So anyway, bagless technology, no bags to buy, large capacity dirt container, powerful 12 amp motor, motor guard protects uh, fan from damage, turbo tool and deluxe stretch hose, quickly cleans above floors. HEPA media filtration traps 100% of pollen and ragweed. Um, that's kind of debatable, but yeah. Uh, 15 inch cleaning path, wide nozzle for faster cleaning. And you can see it definitely is wide. So to remove the bin on this, uh, you just press this little tab or this little button, pull out. And you can see just how great filtration this machine really is. You can see how dirty it gets in there. So, yeah. And here's another point. The um, bin. So there's a little lid up here that you pull out. And then you can dump out your bin. But here is what I really, really don't like about this machine. This filter. Just about everything you pick up will get stuck on this filter. As you can see from the last time I used it, you can see it's already done that. And actually, I'm just going to tap it on this carpet just for fun. Uh, you can see just all the stuff that was stuck in there. So yeah, not a very good design because everything you pick up literally gets stuck around here and it's a pain to clean off so yeah i'll show you that and you can see all this dust flying around just from doing that so yeah i'll show that later on after the pickup test so that just uh, clicks back in actually before i do that you can see down there's the motor and has this little uh, gasket seals to seal the bottom there. Yeah. And now it's been sometimes a pain to put back in. Come on. Hang on. There we go. Thank you. Anyway, moving further up here is the turbo brush or turbo tool as they called it. And you can see it. it's just a basic turbo brush. Um, and it does open up for service. And now this one here kind of does need to be cleaned. So it's a little dirty, but yeah, you can see there's the turbine down there. So yeah, that works very well actually. And it is the standard inch and a quarter fitting, so I can use these tools on a lot of other machines too. And I can also put other tools on the end of that hose, which is nice. So that just clicks back in there. Moving further up. Here you can, whoops. <laughs> anyway. Here's the handle, and it has this little, um, really nice, comfortable grip on, um, so it feels really good in your hand. Okay, now here we are in the back. You can see, here's the hose. Um, so to use it, you just undo that, pull out, 
And now you can actually, now you can use it in this position, uh, like this with the hose locked, but if you need more length, you can just pull it out like that. And you can see here it is made of a very flexible material. This will just stretch it out. And you can see since it's a, um, since it comes out the bottom, it doesn't topple over. So I'll just pull it this way. You can see it kind of follows you on like um, this machine that I demonstrated last. Um, remember that it comes out here or on the um, on the top, whereas this um, this one here comes out the bottom, so that's why it doesn't topple over like this one does. So there's the hose, and now, anyway, um, one other thing is, this is actually how you would use it. Uh, unfortunately, this piece here does not come off. Um, you have to use it like that, which is nice because you do get a very good reach on this model, but at the same time, it is kind of annoying because sometimes I prefer to just use the regular coast cuff at the end. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, here's the crevice tool and extension one, so. <laughs> anyway, so you would, um, so this extension one is actually really long. Uh, it's actually a very good length. And now the crevice tool, as I'll show here, is also a very good length. So if I just put it together like this. You can see it's almost as long as the um, extension one. So that's actually really good. So I'll just quickly demonstrate the reach on this machine. All right. So you can see here, actually, um, it gets a decent length. Um, I'll just do the same tests I did with the other machine. That's not so bad. So yeah, you do actually get a really good reach on this model. And so um, the last tool on here is the uh, dusting brush, which is medium stiff and it's got some pieces stuck to it. I should probably clean that off, but anyway. It's, um, it's it's an okay dusting brush. It's a lot better than a lot of the cheaper ones you get the nowadays, but it's still not great. And that just clicks in there. Cords in the way. Anyway, um, let me get all these attachments back on and I'll get back to you. All right, so now the hose just clicks. Um, in this little holder, like so, that, and then just loops around, clicks in like that, yeah. and you can hear just how um, this machine literally makes all kinds of cracking noises, so you can definitely tell it is a um, lower grade machine but that's not so bad. So right here, it tells you it takes um, belt style five and filter type F1. So quick release cord hook up here, which kind of difficult to do. Anyway, now I can get the hose back on correctly. So here's the cord. As you can see, it actually, for a cheaper end machine, this cord's actually really nice. It's a very nice um, kind of rubber material. 
you can see. And here's the plug. And that just rotates on up. There's the bottom cord hook. And so yeah, power switch, foot operated. Now, one thing I will say is I don't like how it, how the cord comes out like this. Um, it comes out the bottom, which I don't like. I prefer it coming out the top, but there is a, a cord clip, as you can see, up there, which it just slips in like so. So that's not so bad. Anyway, uh, if you need to unclog it, um, you just remove the two screws here and pull this out. That's how you remove the hose in this model. Um, anyway, just show you the back here. You can see, um, instead of saying Dirt Devil on these models, it, it just says Royal. Made in China, Royal Appliance. Granville, Ohio, 44139, household type. And now I am i don't see the, oh yeah, here it is. There's the model number. So this is model um, 086700. And it looks like that's the, um, looks like that's the year it was made, so if I'm reading that correctly, it looks like this model was made in 2004. Um, so yeah, and here's the handle release. So you just undo that. So that's your normal three-quarter position. Move the cord out the way. Um, and then if I press it again, you can see it doesn't really get very low on this model because the hose and everything down there. So yeah, it doesn't really get too low. And you can see it kind of raises up off the floors. So I kind of have to... So yeah, that's about as low as it goes. So that's not very... Not very good. Um... But, yeah. Anyway. So I'll just tilt the machine back. And show you the brush roller so you can see. It's actually a really good brush roller. Um, very st stiff bristles. And like I said earlier, this brush roller is pretty aggressive. So, yeah. And you can see it's got... Uh, these are the height adjuster wheels, and then of course the two main wheels. So, I think that just about concludes the um, overview part of the video. So, now what I'll do is just put some um, dirt on the carpet, and we'll do the pickup test. Alright, so I just put some brown sugar down here just to show the agitation now. I'm sorry um, if it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it kind of blends in with this carpet. So, um, yeah, but that was all I could find, unfortunately. I don't want to use the bag of filth on this uh, machine because I don't want dust to blow everywhere. Um, so, yeah. And also, besides, too, I just shampooed this rug or this carpet yesterday. Or, not yesterday, the day before. So, yeah, I'm not really ready to make it dirty just yet. But, anyway. Let's just see how well this machine does um, on this. Now, headphone warning, you may want to turn down your volume. I can 
say, um, say that that brush roller definitely is, has very good agitation. And, uh, let's just take a look. And I don't really see very much left behind, actually, so that did really well. Uh, so, yeah. And, but one thing I did notice uh, was I did have to lower the height because I could feel stuff being flicked on, on the back, so, yeah. But, otherwise, that actually did very well. So, I'm actually pretty impressed by that. So I guess I'll change the camera angle and get a few more shots. Let's take a look at what this machine was able to pick up. So we'll start with the filter and yep as you can see a lot of that uh, sugar has managed to get on there. So let's see what this machine was actually able to pull out. So. As you can see, it actually picked up a decent amount. Um, so it really is a good cleaner. It's just the filtration and separation is just not very good. And you can see some, some of that even made it here too. <laughs> just about concludes the overview and demonstration and I guess some ASMR at the end of this Dirt Devil Vision Wide Glide. So as you can see, uh, it cleans very well. It's just the filtration and um, I guess you can kind of say build quality is not particularly great, but it's not horrible either. 
um, but the filtration, that is horrible. So, yeah. Um, so, let, oh, and also let me know how you guys like those little ASMR shots. Um, should I do more of those? Um, please let me know. But anyway, in the meantime, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to Austin Vacuums. So from me and the Dirt Devil Vision Wideline, thanks for watching. Bye for now.